In this video, we're going to discuss the options that you can use with the dialog box. Now, the first thing we can do is add a title, and we use that with the title property. Now, I should say that if you put a title up here in the div element, that would also be placed in the dialog box, but you can also do that from here as well. So let's go ahead and load up the page. And there you can see we have our title. So let's go ahead and close this out. Now you can also disable the dialog box as well. And I've got the code already typed out, so I'll just go ahead and copy and paste this right in here. And you just set that to false. Now you may ask, well, why would you do that? Well, perhaps you have to just disable it temporarily, or you're going to add a function down here that will reopen the box. So maybe you don't want the dialog box to automatically come up when the page first loads. And whoops, we don't need that extra bracket. Let's get rid of that. All right, let's go ahead and save this. We'll reload our page. And there you can see we didn't get the dialog box. Now, let's go ahead and set this to true. And we got our dialog box back. Now, you'll notice that we can drag this around anywhere we want. You can also disable that. And you do that by using the draggable property. And you just simply set that to false. So let's go ahead and see if that works. And it did. I can't drag this anywhere around the screen. So that's how that works. And actually, let's go ahead and reload the page real quick here. You might have noticed before that you can actually resize the dialog box. And you can also disable that as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And you do that by using the resizable property. And you just set that to false. So let's go ahead and save everything up and let's make sure that we cannot resize the window. And I can't, it's now disabled. So I can't move the dialog box and I can't resize the window. So you can lock all of that down if you wish to. Now you can also change the default height and the width of the dialog box. And we use that with the height and width property. So let's go ahead and put in height here. And we'll go ahead and put width in right here. And let's give the height 500 pixels. So we'll set that. And we'll set the width to 600 pixels. So let's go ahead and save this up and let's see what we get. And there you can see we get a much larger box. Now we can also use the show and the hide properties. Remember we've used those in previous videos? We can do that right here. And this basically will allow us to control how long it takes to first show the dialog box. So let's set that to 150 milliseconds. And then we can also control how long it takes to close the dialog box. So let's go ahead and we'll set that to 1500 milliseconds. So it should appear very quickly, but it'll take a little bit longer for it to disappear. So let's go ahead and see what we get. And there you can see it came up relatively fast. Now let's see what happens when we close it. See how it took a little bit longer? So again, you can play around with those values. Now we can also go ahead and put effects in here. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll use that bounce effect. And we've used that, of course, many times before. And for when we close it, let's actually do an explode effect. So let's go ahead and save this and we'll see what we get. So there you can see the dialog box was initially loaded with a bounce effect. And let's see what happens when we close it. We get that nice explode effect. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.